How's it going guys? It's Retro and welcome to episode 2 of the Retro Galaxy Q&A. It's been 7 months after the first episode, which is goddamn long, to be honest. So I think it's about time to answer some more questions from you guys. We were gonna make this a 700 subscriber special, however, since it is now too late thanks to the direct, this is just going to be a normal episode. But anyways, for this episode, we have a total of 11 questions to answer from you guys. So without further ado, let's answer some questions. Not bother ask, which program do you use for editing? The program that I'm currently using for editing is DaVinci Resolve. I love this editor because it has more cool features than both KineMaster and Olive, which are the video editors I formerly used. One of the downsides, however, is that the program freezes often while editing since I don't have a high-end PC that follows its goddamn specs. But I don't find it stressful, though. For the Space Fan 2468 ask, why is your favorite 2019 cartoon? If I gotta be honest, it's got to be Amphibia. I love the characters, the concept, the music, and even the climaxes are a masterpiece. And for the finale of this series... Well, not to spoil it or anything, but let's just say it's pretty heartwarming. Special shout out to Matt Bradley for creating this great series. If you guys haven't watched this series, then I totally recommend you to do so. Like, seriously, go watch Amphibia. EasyCams Pro ask, what's your favorite stuff genre of music? Oh man, this is interesting. While my favorite music genre is electronic music, I think my favorite subgenre has got to be glitch hop. I first listened to that subgenre months after I got into Monster Cat, and I love every single part of it. But there was a time when a track makes me love that subgenre more. A few weeks ago, I first listened to that Monster Cat track called Till It's Over by Trust Them. And let me tell you like this, this track hits me hard. This track is so good, not only did I listen to it many times, but made me love Glitch Up more. In addition, this track now holds my all-time favorite Monster Cat track, so yeah. Huh, pretty interesting. Maybe I'll try to listen to the Monster Cat track soon. Good, I'm glad you're now interested, Galax. Also, speaking of Monster Cat, stay tuned for episode 2 of Endless Monster Cat Rankings coming soon. I promise. It's gonna be uploaded soon. Raymond Garza asks, Have you ever been to Chuck E. Cheese since you were a kid? No, I have never been to Chuck E. Cheese in my whole entire life. And I will never will be because, you know, I'm 16. Besides, who wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese for unsanitized places, broken games, and to top it off, recycled pizza? No offense to Raymond Garza and the other people who like CEC, but in my opinion, Chuck E. Cheese is disgusting. The Federal Express Fan 2022 asks, what's your favorite video? My favorite video on YouTube? I don't know. There are a lot of videos out there that are interesting to me. But if you're talking about my favorite video that I made, it's got to be... Look at Evolution to Collab Special. I mean, come on, it's basically obvious. It's a success. I mean, look how many views it's got. And that, my friends, is why I wanted to make a sequel for you guys. Stay tuned for Look at Evolution to Collab Special 2 coming this December. Turn ideas. What's your favorite movie so far in the 2020s? Sonic the Hedgehog. Because what can I say, despite that original design that caused it to be delayed, gross, I love every single bit of this movie, the visuals, the humor, everything. The sequel of it was great as some of you were wondering. If you haven't seen that movie yet, I totally recommend you to do so. JTPM asks, which computer do you have? I have an HP 24 inch RM1 computer. It currently runs on Windows 10, however, I was thinking of upgrading to Windows 11. It has 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, which is a downgrade for me. However, that doesn't matter, because I still use my old hard drive from my old laptop I used to have during Enclosure, which has like, I don't know, 2 terabytes, And it still works and all my old files are there, so yeah. Can I ask, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? 
a favorite fast food restaurant has got to be Domino's because it's obvious that I love pizza and the menu of it is great. So much better than Chuck E. Cheese's. Again, no offense. Many remarking to ask, what phone slash laptop do you have? The phone I currently have is an LG K51. I got this phone during my appendicitis recovery back in 2020 as an early birthday gift. And yes, it still works fine and has no major crack whatsoever. Too bad LG doesn't make phones anymore. And I used to have an Asus laptop that I used to make videos, if you guys remember. However, after I actually dropped them many times by accident, my laptop experienced issues regarding the disk usage and stuff, causing it to not be responsive. This wasn't last year by the way when I was producing the Project Orchid Direct. So that made me abandon my laptop and upgrade to the HP 24 inch on one computer that I got for Christmas last year. And you guys may be wondering, yes, I still have that laptop as of today. And no, I'm not gonna go playing Rock 124 on it. Instead, I decided to keep it somewhere in my room for memories. But anyways, let's move on. This user asks, why did you change your look? What do you mean? Oh, you mean myself? Well, you all remember that I used to be a Papa Louie character when I rebranded this channel in 2019, right? Well, the reason why I changed my look is that I wanted to make myself look more professional as part of the Phase 3 rebrand. That's it, that's basically the only reason why. You do realize I'm the one who alters your look in the first place, right? Oh yeah, I do. But I forget for you though. After all, I might change myself again, due to the fact that this channel is rebranding again to Vibe Form. And yes, that is still happening. January 1st, 2023, save the date. And finally, the final question is from Final Space Fan 2468 again. And he asks, what do you think about the September 7th Apple event? To me, I think it's pretty good. What's so interesting about this event is when Apple introduced a new Apple Watch model that we never expected. And then there's the iPhone 14 Pro with its dynamic island, which is cool. But overall, pretty interesting event. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode of the Russia Galaxy Q&A. If you have any questions you want me to answer for the next episode, make sure to comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more quality content. But until next time, this is Roger Galaxy, signing out.